What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Z4 Outdoors. Today I'm going to go over something that probably not a lot of you want to hear but needs to be heard. The untold truth about what nobody tells you about battery powered equipment. All that stress that's in my body's always driving me insane. When I'm reeling in that buzz bait, it just seems to go away. Now you see fishing ain't a habit, it's a passion in my souls. When I'm casting and I'm smashing all these bass that are on my pole. Now for a minute or an hour, if I'm fishing, then I'm fine. I just only need a second when I'm wetting up a line. So if the weather's super crappy or you might be stuck inside, search G4 Outdoors YouTube online. But as I look up and I ask, can I please just catch a break? I got my rod and my reel and I'm headed to the lake. So this goes with all makes and models. Uh, right here I have the Toro 60 volt flex force system with a two and a half amp hour battery on it. Now all of these blowers, they give you a really long run time and that's what the numbers will say on the box. Like you'll get up to an hour of run time on one of these. That's just if you pull the trigger and that's on its lowest setting. There's always a turbo mode on all of these blowers that you get. So the one hour run time, that will come with just the pull of the trigger. But you pretty much more than double the power output once you once you push a turbo mode on one of these. Now don't get me wrong, this is I will never get rid of this because it's an awesome machine for cleaning up the sidewalks after mowing. Uh, it's an awesome machine for cleaning out the garage instead of getting your gas powered blower trying to crank it, all the loud noise, cleaning out your garage sidewalks. Just getting this thing off of the shelf. <laughs> What's going on? Pulling the battery out, charging it, putting the battery back in, and you're set to go. This thing is extremely handy and I will never get rid of it but I will also never get rid of my gas powered now when it comes to leaf cleanups that's where this thing is really out of its element and you're better off if you don't have a gas powered this thing this thing will get you by this will be a great product to assist you in doing the leaf cleanups but as with my property right here I'm able to blow all of my leaves off of my property into a tree line to get my property cleaned up with leaves. So like I say, this will be an excellent machine for assisting in those leaf cleanups, but it's not gonna be your main source. You'll never get the job done. Uh, with gas powered, once you run out of gas, you can just fill that right back up with gas, get to work. When you're cleaning your yard up with leaves with this, once the battery dies, you're gonna to have to wait three hours in order to charge the battery back up and get back to work. Most of the time in the fall, within three hours, those leaves are probably gonna be blown right back to where you started from and you're gonna to have to start all over. Now, if you're lucky enough to have bought the blower, the hedge trimmer, the string trimmer, and I'm sure I'm missing something out there. But if you have all of those implements, especially the mower that has a six amp hour battery. So if you have four of these two and a halfs and the six amp hour battery, you're not gonna have a problem. You'll be able to get the job done. But if you just go out and buy this blower, here's what you're getting. Okay, so don't get me wrong. This thing has all of the power that it says it does. It actually has all of the power that a gas unit has. Uh, it'll, it'll keep up with a gas blower, but stay tuned. I'm going for a walk like I'm headed to the lake. Looking for a place. 
place to go cast my life away when i'm on the water only time i ever feel sane nod your head to what i'm saying if you understand my pain he was looking for a crappie kitty cat or just a bass hold him up inside my life oh golden crispy for a snack now my boat's broke again no reason for me to knock it chalk it up to smith the money straight out my pocket man now people always ask g4 outdoors why are you guys always on the water because that's where we're at peace you got peace somewhere find me on the water that's, that's where, where i'm at, at peace. peace now the boat's up and running so i'm back out on the lake with some friends that i met up on the lake the other day now as you listen to the song it's probably got you in a trance but understand that these crappies do not stand a single chance so as i turn around i got a crappie on the hook watch me scream at the top of my lungs to make you look yo that ain't a crappie that's a big old bass watch it breach out the water make a big old splash this fish won't stop fighting this battle's been so hard everybody straight soaked like rides at a water park now we finally calmed down i got him up on the scale 10 pounds six ounces almost a killer whale i'm calling everyone i know even people in jail say you gotta check this fish i got him here on the scale now i'm taking all my pictures i send him to facebook did you keep it well no they really don't taste good catch and release i'm letting the bass go looking for the crappie that was the main go i said one two three four get those crappies on the floor now i'm setting all these hooks we'll keep my rod straight how'd you get so strong from using the shake way so if you're digging this story thinking you want more head to youtube now g4 outdoors <laughs> thinks all these stories are fake. These are all fake. factual. I'm out there on the block every day. day. You catch me on the corner using the shake weight, man. W Bridge. Yeah. I'm up there at the top of the... Just shake weight. Oh, Always. Setting the hook on giants. Shake weight giants. It's all about the shake yeah. weight. We got a boat full of crappie. That was just another day. Heading home to clean them up or using the bubble blade. And when a guy gets home, he really just needs to think. Because his wife will get mad when he cleans him up in the sink. Well, thanks for the day on the lake. It was great. You're gonna help me clean the boat? Well, no. Okay, thanks. And every story is true, because if you think it's fake. Well, all I do is fish here at Smithville Lake. And that's all you get. So, <coughs> boy, there's some allergies going on on there. So I got this part of the yard done all the way to here. Now, as you can see, I did not even touch this side of the yard over here, just this corner of my property. So now don't misunderstand me. This thing has some amazing lofting power it has a lot of cfm to get those leaves really <clears throat> i don't think you'd like to look at me crooked this does have enough power and force to get all of these leaves lofted and moved like it should but the battery runtime i just got this little bitty portion of my yard done and that can't be done with just pulling the trigger you have to have this on turbo mode in order to get all of these leaves to move now i still have the rest of the property to do and not only do i have the rest of it to do i have to push all of that back into the wood line now like i say this would be an awesome tool for an assist if you have someone out here raking or whatnot this is going to be an excellent tool to have I'm not dogging this machine in any way, but be advised that when you're buying one of these, it's not gonna be your sole unit for leaf cleanups in your yard. If your yard's as big as mine, and if you have time to spare for a three hour break after this dies, after, I don't know, 10 minutes, I'll probably leave a clock running up there at the top. But uh, is this machine worth it? Absolutely. I love getting this out, not having to start it. Just put a bat, <coughs> these leaves mess with me. Just pulling a battery out, slapping it in, cleaning the garage out, grass clippings, cleaning the street off. This is an excellent machine for that. But when it comes for leaf cleanups and hard use, the battery time just isn't there. And that's gonna be the same with any unit, guys. No matter what brand you go with, the battery life is not gonna be there for leaf cleanups. So anyways, I hope this video brought you some good information uh, along the thinking lines if you're going to buy gas, if you're going to buy battery powered, or if you haven't excessively used your battery powered yet or not. That's the runtime you're going to get out of it on full blast with the turbo mode engaged. 
So if this video brought you some helpful information, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. I gotta clean this crap up. I'm out. <coughs> oh, yeah. Monday, 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 Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my work day. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out there schooling.